All right, we're here at Metro Boomin. Metro Boom! Metro Trailers, picking up a trailer. We found us a good load. Heading to Cali. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it, baby. Let's get it. Trailer. We're gonna do a walkthrough on it. We're gonna do a walkthrough because we uh we found us a load. So I'm just trying to look at it. They wanted me to sign and just print it, but I just wanted to walk through and look at it just in case you never know. And then I'm going to sign and print it. But we're uh, picking up a load, guys. Yes, and it's not in our trailer. Let's get it going. Yeah. We're getting loaded. We dropped our trailer off. And our little drop-off lot we got for now until they uh, force us to move found a load after I uh, actually while I was sitting there getting unloaded at the other place um, let this guy get in here so he can straighten up and then I can pass him we found another load TQL Coyote I know I keep mentioning them there's other brokers out there. Uh, what is it? Worldwide Logistics. Or, yeah, I've dealt with a lot of them in the last couple of days. Um, I keep mentioning TQL and Coyote because they're just flooding the low board right now. Uh, the DAT board. That's where we're with right now. They're just flooding the DAT board and... Uh, so they got a lot of loads going to where I want to go, like out to Cali, but they're cheap. And there's other people out there that got good loads that I want, but they want me to, you know, take 10 cheap loads for them before I can take a good high priority load, I guess. Um, so, but TQL, I'll bring them up because I was talking to the broker and I was asking them, like, you know, how come you guys are so cheap? Like, you know, $400 to go to LA is just not, you know, that's not a good lane. He's like, well, that's what the lane is, you know, especially after pre COVID, nobody's asking the prices that you're asking. I was just asking for eight. I started at 850. I wanted eight or maybe seven. I would have did it for, even though that's cheap. Um, but, you know, we got loaded, guys. Let me hook up and then we'll talk about it here in a minute. trouble there with the with the straps they didn't uh, have enough straps on there I was waiting for the guy to come load up the straps and he came and only put six straps and he needed 14 so I had to give them a couple of my straps and uh, I want to get reimbursed for my straps so the straps are not cheap at all so I'm hoping that uh, they can send me an updated Raycon because that's a lot of straps to uh, just to be given away. So we're going to see. That was my dilemma. Now we're trying to get onto this road. There's a lot of traffic right here. But we are loaded. We're heading to LA. We got a load um, for... Oh, thank you, man. I would have went and would have put your blinker on. Uh, we got a load for $1,000 going to LA. Super light. We're only uh, like 20 something thousand pounds. If that. 
we're never gonna get off the street, so. Um, yeah, so, I have to wait it out. I booked this yesterday, and uh, sorry, I'm like everywhere. I'm like looking at traffic and trying to talk. There's cars behind me, and uh, I'm just everywhere right now. But we waited. I can't believe TQL told us that, uh, no, that's the lane. They're getting them off every day for 400 bucks, going up there for 500 bucks. And uh, that's just way too cheap. Like a thousand bucks, I can do a thousand bucks going to LA. You know, it's gonna take about 250 bucks up for fuel to get up there safely. Um, you know, plus IFTA and all that stuff. So I personally would like to make some money and not just a hundred bucks or 200 bucks when I can do a, a local convoy load for for 200 bucks is going 15 miles down the street. But, you know, $200 a day load doesn't pay the bills. Like, you know, it's expensive to run these trucks. You know, we just paid, you know, over, uh, we were like 18,000 for the year in insurance we paid. And then we just dropped with seven and we dropped like twelve thousand dollars just three weeks ago just the in maintenance. Uh that's not even including the oil changes that I that I got with the filters and all that stuff and you know. Anyway, so it's a lot of money to keep these trucks going. Um and I had to go into the hole just to just to repair my truck so I'm not getting a uh, DOT violation and all that stuff. Like, you know, the stuff that I fixed besides the transmission, uh, the tranny gear or whatever, um, you know, all the other stuff, the truck was running. It was an exhaust leak. It wasn't running to the best of its abilities, but I could have made some more money to probably cover it, but I was scared to get a DOT violation and out of service and all that stuff uh, to the long run that hurt you. So I just got it done, got my truck done uh, with the money I didn't have for a broker to, you know, that has no skin in the game basically. It's telling me that I have to drive almost 300 miles for 400 bucks. And I know that, you know, they're at least, they're at least getting those loads for 2,000 and under going from here to there, you know. I know they're not getting it for 800, they're getting thousands. And giving, a, giving it to us, throwing us little breadcrumbs for hundreds. And, but we have to spend thousands of dollars just to make sure that load gets there. You know, we have a lot of regulations, government regulations that uh, a broker does not have. We have, you know, everything is at risk. Like, it's, it's crazy out here, but Hopefully the market gets better. I'm not trying to just talk about the market. I am excited that we did get a load. Yeah, we didn't get a load in our trailer, but this this one popped up and it was uh, like power only, a thousand bucks. You know, it's like three dollar over three dollars a mile. It's like three twenty. It's up in the threes, and I was like, I'm not even gonna negotiate. Like, that's my mark. If I can get three dollars a load everywhere, I wouldn't be complaining. But a dollar eighty, a dollar forty for a forty-four thousand pound load a mile is not worth it, and I can't afford just keep sitting my truck uh, boycotting against um, brokers or whatever it is to sit my truck, sit my truck, and go out of business, and that's not fair to my family. But we are going to go home for a while. I'm gonna start driving when it cools down a little bit. We'll start driving like at seven. I have a window from 12 a.m. to 8 in the morning. So I'm gonna try to get there around 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Cause there'd be less traffic down there in LA, going to East LA. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna make it home, hang out for a little bit, probably take like just a little nap. And then, uh, over here. Take a little nap and then we're gonna get that load going. We got some plans up our sleeves so we don't have our trailer so we're gonna have to try to find a load coming back to Vegas or we're gonna have to deadhead back to Vegas um, don't want to deadhead so we're gonna try to find something uh, coming back and we're gonna see how that goes all right guys keep me updated
grumps. Eating some blueberries. He sure does love those blueberries, I'll tell you that. Look at that beauty. Talking about a classic. Tell my car, guys. What kind of car is this? That thing is sweet. It's not the Kennedy car, is it? Looking mm -hmm. okay, nice. Oh, three on the tree. Remind me of my ranchero. Oh, oh, three on the tree right there. Air out. Looking nice. Yeah, buddy. We're doing our thing. I know it's like a couple of days in one. First day was just hectic because I was trying to figure out everything. Today I figured it out better. I got the same load today as the other one. We're not pulling our trailer. We found uh, we found a load going from Vegas to LA for a thousand twenty five thousand pounds, which is dropping it, dropping the trailer. Everything's already pre-signed before we get there. We just got to drop it, take a picture, and uh, be out of there. The first time I did it, um, I should have did what I did today is uh, go on Amazon, book a load for tomorrow, early in the morning, coming back home. But I didn't do that, and when I dropped off, I went on and tried to find an, a load for Amazon to come back home, and they're all gone, because it was like nine or 10 of us, nine, 10 of us doing the same load going up there, and I'm pretty sure they snatched them, and other people snatched them. So, fortunately, I had the deadhead deadhead home and on my way home the guy called me he said hey I got another one available if you want it I said yeah give it to me I'll give it another shot so today we're taking this up there and then we got something coming back from Amazon it's a 15 15k pound for 700 coming from California here dropping it off um, it looks a little tricky on there because uh, there's, there's a holiday on Monday. Is there a, there's a holiday coming up. So it looks like they want you to have that trailer until Monday. Today is, uh, what's that? Today is Friday. We're picking it up Saturday in the morning. We're taking it straight here over here in Henderson. Dropping off that uh, load and we're picking up an empty then it looks like they want us to have that empty all day Saturday and drop it off Sunday or Monday. All day Sunday and drop it off Monday. But really, when you have an empty and you take it to a facility, unless that facility is full and there's no parking spots, they're going to take the empty. So, and if you're dropping hooking, if you're dropping hooking and not picking up anything, they will accept you if their lot is not full. If their lot is full, and if you're dropping hooking and picking up an empty, even if they have an empty available, um, but the yard is too full, they might not let you drop it. That, that happened to me before. But let's open these dock doors, or these doors, and get into this dock so we can get loaded. All right, well, I'm here waiting. I've been here since eight o'clock. And they said they're not gonna have me loaded until tomorrow. Um, and they don't know what time tomorrow. And I already yeah, booked a load coming back from um, California here with Amazon. So if I cancel now, it's gonna affect my score. Let's see, 10, so it's over 24 hours because I was supposed to pick up tomorrow at 10 in the morning, so. I guess I better cancel now than later um, because 
yeah, I'm just confused. You know, the extra 200 bucks, you know, I guess that pays the fuel up there, but then I gotta get back. So, um, So, I guess they have a little thing going on over here. He, want, he wants them to move. So, yeah. So, I don't know what's going on. What's going on, guys? This is what I'm talking about when you take the cheap freight out of Vegas. Now, this is a $500 freight. And you're talking about giving me an extra $200 for layover. That's $700 for two days because they don't even have an ETA of what time I'll be loaded tomorrow. So, and then the detention starts from eight o'clock tomorrow until, so they open at eight, nine, 10, so 11. They're not done by 11 or maybe it starts at eight and I get the three hours of detention, $40 an hour. I don't know. Um, I don't know guys I don't know I'm trying to share this experience with you guys but I don't really have too many things to say but this is wild right here this is what you have to expect out here in trucking you know taking taking cheap freight especially out of Vegas then you got to deal with all this stuff like I've been sitting here since I woke up at six o'clock this morning just to go pick up this empty and then um you know get here by nine go fuel up put i put money in my tank and then uh and then yeah it's not gonna happen then you know i was trying to be back tomorrow before five o'clock because i was trying to watch the game no, that's not going to happen now because I'm going to be driving up there and I won't get there until 5, especially if they're not they're not going to have me loaded by 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, well, I better I better cancel the Amazon load before they deduct even more. Now I'm going to be like in the 70s. This is going to be ridiculous. Alright. Well, Well, now it's a $1,200 load. So at least I get the fuel paid for going up. Let's see how much it hurts my score. I don't know how long it takes Amazon to uh, used to go fast. So I'm gonna see how my score is looking tomorrow. It's already pretty low, so. I canceled it 24 hours before. Uh, so five hours after I booked it, basically, 24 hours before it needs to be picked up. It needs to be picked up tomorrow, like at 10.30. It was a good load, but uh, I doubt they have me ready tomorrow by eight. They said eight o'clock, the tension starts, so. So yeah, I don't know if it starts eight o'clock and then three hours after they open, that's when the tension starts or is that when the point, I don't know. So we're gonna find out. I don't know what that speaking is. Um, yeah, this is another, this, this is horrible. Not horrible, but you know, how can I say it? It could be, much worse it's the weekend so you know I'm not too upset I'm here I'm, I'm at home only thing that sucks is that I had to cancel that load and um, it's going to impact my score so that messes up my business with Amazon and uh I'm gonna miss watching the game. I, I'm gonna still watch the game, but I want to watch it with my, you know, with my my fan band. You know, 
going to watch with my brother and my dad, sit back, watch some football, eat a sub sandwich, feel like a kid again a little bit, yelling at the TV. Um, but instead, I'll be driving to, I'll probably be getting there around right when the game starts or you know, 5 o'clock. It depends on when they have me ready. I'll be there about 12 o'clock if they have me ready by. There you go. So, yeah, that's a bummer. That's what goes along with this stuff. That's what I'm, This is what I'm talking about right here. Imagine. I know I keep saying this. Cheap load coming out of Vegas. Uh, I spent all day negotiating, finding this load, booking this load. I get to the shipper. That's another 10 hours, 24 hours basically. Tomorrow at 9 o'clock, 24 hours of me waiting to get this load. And then I still got to deliver the load. And if this wasn't a dropping hook, I would have to get to the receiver and sit there and wait for them to get a door open and everybody's backed up. And, you know, that's. Yeah, I could just cancel right now and say, screw you know, whatever, I'm a, what's lost is lost, and find another load, another cheap load coming out, uh, but I'm not going to do that, it's the weekend, I'm pretty sure this broker who I'm talking to, probably won't remember me, probably won't remember the favor, or me waiting, not complaining, trying to be reasonable, uh, or maybe he will, I don't know, we're going to So we are back here. We got the call last night. I tried to come, but uh, they told me it would be like, I got here last night around what, 11? I got the call around 7.38. It was some confusion. They're like, hey, are you going to get this load? I'm like, uh, well, I can, but I didn't know you guys wanted me to. They are like, yeah, you know, every Friday, but we didn't confirm it or, you know, deny it. But we didn't confirm that uh, they wanted me to come up here Fridays to pick this up. Um, they're like, yeah, if you can go pick that up for us, that'd be awesome. I'm like, all right, I'll, you know, I'll go try. And uh, I got here last night, made it here like around 11. And they were like, uh, you're going to be sitting here until like after 4 o'clock in the morning. And I was like, um, I'd rather go home and sleep in my bed. So they're like, just come back anytime after four. We'll take care of you. I'm like, perfect. So I got some good sleep. Woke up at six, got the truck. I think it's like, what, seven, eight o'clock here? Um, yeah, so we're gonna get loaded, drop this off in Mesquite, and then we're gonna go pick up our trailer because they should be, uh, they open up at eight. So that shit, I'm hoping it's done around 12, but they didn't give me any ETA on when it's gonna be done. So um, I think that should be done around 12 on Mesquite. Like it says, only an hour and 20 minutes away. So, so we're gonna get this in to pay for some fuel because I am gonna just dead head back home from LA. I won't have a trailer with me. I'm going to drop my trailer off. We're pulling our trailer right now, our road door trailer. And uh, I'm going to do this mosquito load, drop the trailer back off, go pick up that loadout trailer that should be loaded with stage equipment. Uh, pick that up and take that to California. But hey guys, let's get in this dark door. And just like that, it was raining in Vegas. Out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be raining for a long time. Probably just this one little rain cloud going over. And of course, it hits me. Waiting for that green light to go red just to go back green. Just rolling truck and what's going on, man? 